A patient presents to the emergency department with severe complaint of pain going down the leg from the lower back. She has the history of intramuscular injection at the gluteal region by an inexperienced healthcare worker. Which nerve is mostly involved in this case? Now you tell me after injection over gluteal region, what is the most common nerve to be injured here? And what is the most common type of mistake? Yes. See like where do you give the injection? at the outer quadrant of buttock or at the medial quadrant at the upper border at the lower border this is very very important to understand suppose if this is suppose if this is right butt right right butt and these are four quadrants one two three four now you tell me where will you give the injection where will you give intramuscular injection yes outer upper quadrant a right one suppose if any suppose if any person is going to give injection here in medial region right medial here see here just at the dimple at the back side from there only like there'll be origin of sciatic nerve and a person can damage a healthcare worker can damage sciatic nerve because of that there will be what referred pain there will be radiating pain towards the leg side that is called as a sciatica right sciatica even in a case of hip bone fracture there can be sciatica right so out of these four what is the answer here sciatic nerve sciatica okay now next question to you so what is the most preferred muscles where you will give intramuscular injection in the butt right gluteus maximus or gluteus medius you might be thinking maximus which is maximum you are thinking like that no answer is safe muscle will be gluteus medius muscle gluteus medius see here safe is gluteus medius after gluteus medius, alternative muscle is what? Lateral aspect of the thigh, vastus lateralis. Okay. Now, see one more easy question. How much should be the angle of your needle in a case of intramuscular injection? How much should be the angle in a case of intravenous and subcutaneous and intraderma? Let's learn a very easy topic. When I talk about intramuscular, 90 degree, 90 degree okay but subcutaneous 45 degree okay when i talk about intravenous approximately 25 degree okay this is intravenous intradermal angle should be 10 to 15 degree i hope all these points are clear to everyone and now next type of injection that is z injection z type where do we give Z type of injection, especially for high molecular weight drugs like iron injection? See, yes, so first of all, suppose if I have to give injection, I have to pull after that injection and then I'm going to push, then again I'm going to pull so that there should be no leakage of drug from the same side. So remember, Z type of injection, especially in a case of iron molecule injection.